what are the key takeaways, takeaways from this lecture? We have shown that special bar compression procedures are needed, especially in high frequency space. We have also shown that tick, volume, and dollar bars have better statistical, statistical properties compared to time bars. We have uh, take a look uh, to imbalance and ROM bars, which are sampled more frequently when new information comes to a market. Here we in take information in a microstructural um, in a microstructural sense. So we have discussed that there are two types of uh, imbalance bars. So the first type is EMA imbalance bars, which are described in the book. And the second one, which was introduced by our researchers, which are called constant imbalance bars. And we have also uh, discussed how futures role and ETF trick help a researcher to deal with not perpetual securities, such as futures, options, or multi-product series if we, if we would like to build a spread of uh, the various securities uh, to trade statistical arbitrage strategy on top of that.